Hello everyone, this is that IT guy and following the series of Windows 10 articles, today I'm going to show you how to revert to your previous version of Windows if you want or need to. Before we start, remember to back up everything, as while in theory we will not need to, it's always important to back up everything before an operating system change. The first thing we'll need to do is click on Start, followed by Settings. Once there, we can click on Update and Security, where we can click on Recovery. Remember this option will only be there if you update it to Windows 10 from a previous Windows version, no longer than 30 days ago. Once in recovery, you'll see an option that says go back to Windows 7, or 8 if that's what you had. For the purpose of this video, I upgraded from Windows 7 to 10, but the process is exactly the same for either. Note that when I say Windows 8, I also mean Windows 8.1. Once we click on Get Started, we'll be greeted with a screen that contains a quick survey. We can choose whichever option we feel is right and choose to tell Microsoft more. When we're ready, we can click Next. The process will then start and we'll automatically restart the computer. For the purpose of this tutorial, the video has been altered to go faster but the process can take anything from 10 minutes to 2 hours, depending on how much you have done in Windows 10, such as installing programs or creating files, so keep this in mind before you start. While files will be kept, programs you have installed will be gone, as the process is reverting our computer to how it was before we upgraded to Windows 10. Once the process has finished, we will be greeted with a quick sense of nostalgia by seeing our desktop before we upgraded to Windows 10. While personally I think Microsoft has done and continues to do an excellent job with Windows 10, I do understand it will not be for every usage just yet, due to incompatibilities with either hardware or, especially, specific software that users require on a daily basis. I'd be very interested to know what your reasons for reverting to your previous version of Windows are, so please do leave a comment. That's all from me, as always you can keep up to date by subscribing here and on the website scrapebyitguy.com. That IT guy out.